Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tackle Share YouTube channel. My name is Ashley, and today I'm at the OFH Mario Carlucci Heritage Center. I'm standing in front of the Ontario Record Fish Wall, which contains replicas of all of Ontario's record fish. In today's video, we'll be talking about the rainbow trout. We'll be looking at its diet, identification, habitat, and much more, so stay tuned. All the information in today's video can be found on tackleshare.com resources, where we've uploaded fish fact sheets for you to take a look at. But all that information will be in this video, so let's get to it. In Ontario, there are three common forms of rainbow trout. These variations include the rainbow trout, the steelhead, and the Kamloops trout. Although confusing, it is important to remember these are just different variations of the same species that just live in different habitats. Rainbow trout are moderately deep-bodied. Their bodies are olive brown to purple black with silvery sides and a white belly the rainbow trout also has a distinctive pink iridescent or red lateral line with spots on their back, sides, tails, and fins. It's also important to note their mouth extends past their eye, as this can be a key identification feature between other fish species. Rainbow trout are originally native to the west coast of Canada and Rocky Mountains until their introduction into the Great Lakes between 1895 and the rest of Ontario between 1883 and 1904. They are found in cold rivers, streams, and lakes where optimal temperatures are 21 degrees Celsius or cooler. Rainbow trout spawning occurs in the spring once water temperatures reach 5 degrees Celsius. Spawning occurs on beds of fine gravel in the smaller tributaries of their rivers or in the inlets and outlet streams of their lakes. Females lay 800 to 1,000 eggs in each nest, known as reds. These fish can spawn up to five successive years before dying. If you like to see footage of fish migrating through fish ladders in the Ganaraska and Credit River, visit riverwatcherdaily.is. You may even get lucky and see a rainbow trout swimming upstream in the spring. Link to Riverwatcher will also be in the description. In streams, rainbow trout primarily eat aquatic insects, but will also eat other invertebrates, fish, and fish eggs. In the Great Lakes, they primarily eat forage fish, such as alewife, sculpin, rainbow smelt, and others. Rainbow trout can reach 11 years of age, and in Ontario, usually reach between 12 to 18 inches long. The Ontario record catch was 39.1 inches long and weighed 40.68 pounds. When fishing the streams to catch rainbow trout, try to match the hatch by selecting a presentation that mimics aquatic insects that are their natural food source. Float fishing is a popular method among river anglers. In the stream, try using a range of spinners, salmon egg baits, and flies. In the Great Lakes, try trolling using spoons and other minnow imitating lures. All right, that is all about rainbow trout. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you've learned a little bit more about rainbow trout, and check out River Watcher. Feel free to let us know if you've ever caught a rainbow trout and leave a comment about what you were using or any other fishing tips you might have. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. We have many more videos coming detailing game fish in Ontario. And also tap that notification bell to keep the content coming your way. Thank you and see you next time.